We're back, people, and today we're bringing up film on Jalen Ramsey, Miami Dolphins corner. And after a pretty slow start to the season for, through the first two weeks, Ramsey really returned to form in week three versus Seattle, had like a really, really strong game. I would say him, Sealer, and Campbell were the best players on the field. Uh, probably on both sides of the ball, but definitely defensively. Like, he went out there, was playing pretty shut down when he was left on an island. Uh, did good job getting down in the flat versus like screen swing stuff when he's playing as like a flat corner making those tackles, playing physical, good football, didn't get targeted too much down the field. Like he was running step for step with Metcalf on some vertical routes. Uh, that one deep touchdown was really on, on Holland. Uh, don't really let anyone try to tell you differently, but Ramsey was in a good spot. I think one of the only catches Metcalf really had on him one-on-one -on -one is when he uh, got offensive pass interference, pushed to create separation. Uh, but Ramsey... Showed off a lot of his strengths in this game, and that's going to be huge for the Dolphins just going for the rest of the season because they need as much big plays as possible created by the defense. So having a Ramsey return to form a bit, and then hopefully he can start to make some like big impactful turnovers, that would be huge to help out the offense, especially uh, in this next three-game stretch while you have backups playing for sure. So here, motion Tyler Lockett across. He identifies that pre-snap, sees that... uh. Metcalf's release is going to block him, so his eyes go to the inside. Sees Geno's going to release the swing, so boom, he's in the correct position. Get downhill, uh, beat him to the outside, so you're like setting the edge, so he is forced back to the inside if you don't make the tackle, uh, but he gets there, really squares him up. Ramsey, I still want to see more versatile usage out of him. I still feel like maybe they're waiting until they get some more, a little more healthy in the secondary, so they can start moving Ramsey around more. Uh, but they were using like a three safety set, which I will do a breakdown on in a, the next couple of days uh, because that was a very interesting package. But Ramsey was continuously doing some good work like here off the ball. Does a pretty good job with his, his technique, staying square, staying patient, good feet, good base. He kind of weaves to the outside to maintain his leverage. Once Metcalf releases the outside, get hands on, good placement, start to open up your hips, and then you force him towards the sideline, use your sideline as your friend. He's in a good spot. Now Gino escapes the pocket and Metcalf tries to work off script. So he creates a little bit of separation right there once it's off script. Uh, but Ramsey's able to recover, get back into a good position, and then not allow that to get completed near the sideline. So like overall, good work from Ramsey, even though, you know, he slightly loses the rep late. But this was more because he's escaping the pocket. And you can only, you know, expect a corner to cover so long, but he still gets right back in the correct spot. So Ramsey played a really, really solid game. Here he is in cover two. Dolphins have been running a decent amount of cover two, I feel like. Uh, or like, you know, quarter quarter halves. But here Ramsey's playing as the flat corner, the cloud corner. He's sort of leveraging both of these routes. Uh, they bring a blitz here. I'm not sure why Geno doesn't release to the inside slot receiver because it's definitely opened up just based on the, the look they give because they bring five. Oh, uh, that's free. But so Ramsey kind of has to leverage both of these where like if this is thrown here, he can make a tackle. If he's thrown here, he can make a tackle. He takes the underneath route, and then boom, look at this transition. Just from like no pedal, to just instantly sticking that foot in the ground and explode downhill and then make a strong tackle on a tight end to finish. Like, very, very impressed with Ramsey in the, the underneath game. Even in the games he was struggling, like he still did a good job in these underneath plays, uh, getting at least getting downfield to be in the right position. Uh, but it's nice to see like him finish these these one-on-ones. I feel like Ramsey has done a really good job in that stuff. Um, and then here, nice to see him running step for step with Metcalf because he kind of lost that one uh, play versus Jacksonville where he's playing man to man press versus Thomas. Here he's he's bailing and uh, he's playing you know more of like a, a quarters coverage here versus Metcalf, but basically gets one on one. So it's nice to see that he can still stay step for step with some of the fastest uh, deep threat receivers in the league. Like with Thomas, he he recovered, but it was just uh, you know he slightly lost at the line, but that is not open at all. So he gets that one on one and. Does just a really nice job. And there was a couple examples of them trying to do that. But Gino has to come off of it. And then finds that lane. That was like right at the start of the game. Here's another example of it here. But this time cover three. Where he just turns and open up, up, his, up his hips. Because Metcalf gives him a little stem to the outside. Ramsey's maintaining that outside leverage. And once he sees like Metcalf after that outside stem. Break it back towards the, the middle a little bit. He knows he's going to open up his hips. And not that's going to be his route. And he just stays step for step. Knows he has inside help too. But he wants to stay, you know, with it just in case. Uh, maintain that, like, low outside leverage because he knows he has high inside leverage help from Holland. And But, yeah, Ramsey's in a good spot. And this is carrying deep on the, the interception play that where Gino gets pressured pretty quickly. Ball gets overthrown. 
Charbonnet, and the Dolphins get the interception for from Kater Kohu. Bottom of the screen, Jalen Ramsey against Metcalf. This is the one where like he gave a catch, but it was clearly offensive PI. Love that he shows like good, pretty good awareness. It's second and ten situation. He understands Metcalf's route tree. I think he's faced off against DK a lot and like understanding the receivers, your opponents. He knows on this play, it's three by one. The running back's to his side, but he's basically isolated here. Dolphins are running like you know they're like zone match but basically Ramsey is one-on-one to this side of the field and they're playing like you know basically like a quarters type look but he's matched up one-on-one uh he gets up understands he starts to sit on this like Metcalf is a big vertical threat receiver so he likes to stay on the vertical plane like he might do a in breaker but he's not gonna be like the type of guy that's like you know settle the inside break it back to the outside like run a deep comeback he'll just either run past you or get up into you and try to create with physicality and then run like a curl route. And Ramsey kind of feels this. You can tell that he, he once he gets hands on, like he's already looking back to the quarterback once his hands get on Metcalf because he's reading this route the entire way. Thinks he's going to try to sit right before the sticks. But then Metcalf uh, creates OPI on Ramsey, which gets the flag, which uh, helps, you know, get them closer to their end zone. I think that might have been uh, after the, like right before the pick too. So just being in the right spot, right time. And here we get to see Ramsey playing in a tough spot. Like they're playing uh, like man to man across the board. They're playing one rat. So like they have one deep. I think that's Holland. And then underneath they have D David Long playing as like the rat. And then Ramsey's asked to play off man coverage. They're almost, they're like close to being in a bunch. And Metcalf works to the inside to just sit. This is a tough ask because sometimes corners will, once they see a hard sprinting receiver like this, they'll try to work over the top. Uh, of the defender so they can get across to make a play on like the drag to this side of the field but Metcalf like just sits on it and look how Ramsey responds pretty quickly it just boom stick his foot in the ground and get downhill to close so if the ball did come out to Metcalf as soon as he sat he actually probably would have made this tackle short of the line to gain ends up getting completed to lock it which uh there is you know arguably some offensive pass interference on that side too because he shoved Kohu and Kohu slipped and fell uh, but Ramsey just continuously making some plays, being in the right spot, no like big blunders. Like in the other games, it just felt like there was some big blunders on Ramsey's part. It wasn't like it was all bad, but like the big pass interference against Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, they also had that touchdown where he was kind of the closest defender in the area. It was a tough ask. And then there was in the Bills game where the, the running back kind of came into his zone. He kind of had to make up for Holland coming down on cover two. But yeah, there's, there's just things that I think he wants to be better at, but I do think he was playing through a hamstring injury, which I think is another key thing to point out. This is a new system for everyone, so we'll see how it all ends up playing out. But they need players like Ramsey to really play at a high level. Kendall Fuller, I think, has actually played pretty well at the other side corner, but he is in concussion protocol, so we'll see how that that works out. But I would like to see if Ramsey and Fuller are healthy. I want to see more versatile looks with them, like being moved around. But if they are going to go into those looks where it's just those two, I'd love to see more of that three safety package where Ramsey and Fuller are your only corners on the field because they're clearly your best corners. And then at safety, you have uh, Fuller and May, or not no, Fuller, Poyer and May playing deep. Just, you know, keep a lid on things. You don't have to do anything too impactful. And then you have Hall in near the line of scrimmage playing as like the nickel, a big nickel, allow him to play versus the run, play with a blitz. Because it feels like Colin really wants to play aggressive and get involved. And that got them hurt in the on the big play over the top. So I think getting Holland more near the line of scrimmage on some reps can definitely help out his game. And then with, you know, some of your other corners struggling, uh, it, it can kind of keep maybe your best DBs on the field, at least the ones that are most impactful. So I would like to see more of those looks. And I just want to see Ramsey be more involved too. So like if they're not running this three safety stuff, allow Ramsey to get some action, you know, blitzing, that type of thing, I think it would be pretty helpful in certain situations. Uh, and then we'll, I'll definitely break down, I think, still Calais Campbell, the three safety look, and then we'll get into, like, I'm going to have film on the Titans offense and defense to do for streams over the weekend, because that game is until uh, Monday, so I'll do it on Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys are to me today, come in and subscribe. This is a